This is Artifacts of Mars, and here's an interesting story. I think it's mostly BS, but we'll see. Can we regrow teeth like sharks? St humans still have genes used by predatory fish to repeatedly renew their gnashes. That is BS. That is bullshit. We're not fish. Excuse me. Sharks continually regrow their teeth in rows throughout their lives. Humans only grow two sets of teeth and cannot replace them. Well, we share the same gene network that allows sharks to regrow their teeth. Scientists say it may be possible to tweak these to grow new teeth. This really isn't a news story, per se, because I've heard it before, but uh, well, I've heard they're working on this. Human teeth can eventually be made to regrow just like those of sharks, as we still possess the same genes that allow regrowth scientists have found. We're not fish. Sharks and other fish regrow their teeth repeatedly through their lives, while humans have the capacity to regrow their teeth just once. I've heard that on rare occasions there's a third set, very old people. Anyway, now scientists at the University of Sheffield, that's in England, have discovered the same network of genes and wild sharks to regrow teeth as present in humans. These genes carried in specialized cells that create teeth, mostly die off or lie dormant after our milk teeth and adult trees grow. Dr. Gareth Fraser and colleagues analyzed teeth of cat, cat shark embryo, embryos and identified the genes involved during stages of early shark tooth formation. We're not sharks, you idiots! <laughs> These genes continued to be used to grow further teeth and are found in cells called dental lamina, which are responsible for the lifelong continuation of tooth development and regeneration in sharks. Same genes are still present in humans, driving from the time when our humans and an sharks had a common ancestor. Oh, brother. <laughs> Genes that make these teeth regrow are shared by all vertebrates, creatures with skeletons, including humans. What it means is that because we have the same genes to make teeth, we also have a regenerative program. We can make two sets of teeth, but humans need more teeth, whether through loss or damage, so our second set are really quite valuable. No fooling. Sharks never have tooth decay. If they lose teeth, they regenerate them even more rapidly. Point is, at uh, some level, it's not far-fetched that we can use and re-utilize what nature has provided. Well, I can't speak to whether that's BS or not, but uh, this idea that we're related to sharks is absurd. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Researcher, we live on land, we breathe air. I, uh, 
reject evolution, at least unguided evolution. Now, if you want to talk to me about uh, some outside force guiding evolution and changing people into changing one critter into another, I'm game, but unguided evolution through accidents, not going to happen. Any anyway, rate, that's your uh, update. I think a lot of it is BS. It's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like fusion energy. Not to get off topic, but it's kind of like fusion energy. See, when I was a kid, which, which was a long time ago, fusion energy, commercially viable fusion energy, was 50 years in the future. Now, uh, 50 years later, it's still 50 years in the future. You're getting the point? This is 50 years in the future, and 50 years from now, it'll still be 50 years in the future, and 50 years from then, it'll still be 50 years in the future. Okay. I can't string you along, similar to what NASA does in some ways. Just stringing you along. 50 years in the future, plus 50 years in the future, plus 50 years in the future. It just goes on and on. I'm artifacts of Mars. Hopefully we won't blow ourselves up by then, but don't count on this any time in the foreseeable future even if they're right about being able to regrow them. It'll always be 50 years in the future. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.